whole of Porter City. It's nice to meet you. And this year's Porter's phrase is tagged Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is powerful. You have fasted for 70 days and prayed. Scripture says that all things should be done with thanksgiving. Scripture also says that it is a good thing to give thanks. I have seen where thanksgiving raised the dead. Not once, not twice, not three times, at least four, four times in my home. Thanksgiving raised the dead. My father was dead a whole day. And rather than cry, my mom dragged him into the house by herself and shut the door. And then she unleashed Thanksgiving in songs. And we started to pray from morning. This was around 7 a.m. He was supposed to go to work. We started to pray and at 12 o'clock we started to cry because he wasn't coming back and she said shut up pray worship he will come back and at 9 p.m by the way in between we looked for pastor pastor didn't come on time but at 9 p.m he came back to life He is going to be 80 next year. My older sister, she was gone for four days. It was, um, there was no, I mean, they had embalmed her. But it was still Thanksgiving. You see, Thanksgiving raises your faith and your hope. And the only one who can fix and sort out cases that the world has given up on. And so Thanksgiving is meant for one person. When you give thanks, dead things can come back to life. It happened with Lazarus, it happened in my family, and it's still happening. When you give thanks, multiplication happen. You don't understand how it's happening. Multiplication happen. And concerning Ghana, 2 Kings 3, 17. The Lord says to you, you will not see wind. You will not see rain. But this valley situation you are in will be filled. You won't see the wind. You won't see the rain. You have prayed, you have fasted, you have worshipped, you have given thanks. But this is the word of the Lord to you. You will not see the wind. You will not see the rain. But this valley situation in Ghana in less than two years will be filled. So you should rejoice. And you should give thanks like never before. Is it okay if I teach you a song? Okay, it's very simple. It says, Jesus of you have changed my
simple. Is that simple? Can you try it? Say, Jesus. Keep the hope. What did he do? Let go. 